Hello everybody, today we are doing double distillation under one of the most popular stills. It's a home distiller, Stillman 400. Cooling management, small distillation column, which is modular and you are able to build anything you like because of the one and a half inch three clamps. We already have a video about first distillation process on this still, so feel free to watch it, I add a link in the description. Firstly, we need to assemble the still, it's very easy. So in the end, the still has to be looking like this. Over here, I have 25 liter boiler and 11 liters of low wines over there. So today we are making some neutral spirits and we'll get about 89-92% of ABV in the end. It's a cooling management distiller and you are able to regulate the percentage of alcohol during distillation by regulation amount of water to the still. It's not uh, really tricky here because of the size of this still. Uh, the distiller is not huge and that's why even beginner can easily get high proof alcohol from the box. Mm -hmm. Let's add low wines to the boiler, fasten the lid and start heating. Right now, have a look at the management of hoses. Firstly, over here is inlet for the water. Up here is a jumper from the condenser to the reflux condenser, which is mini deflagmator. An upper tube on this one is outlet for the water. Also, don't forget to put silicon hose for the product collection. As I always say, these connections are all 10 mm tubes and as a manufacturer we can change this connection to the half inch thread, male or female, with no problem, like on these units. This is a unit from the parrot which supplies with them, so you can see the each drop when it's as you can see, we have about 75 degrees and we're getting closer to the boiling temperature, so it's better to turn the water on and just to stay safe. Also, we uh, can decrease the power because uh, we need to take the heads off.
All right, the steel got hot, so we need to regulate needed amount of drops of heads per second. It's better to go one to three drops per second and collect it to the small jars, so you'll be able to smell and understand where you have four shorts, heads, and then hearts. Also, you can use moonshine calculator if you like, but it's not really necessary. For regulation, you just need to decrease heating and maybe decrease some water, but it will depend on the temperature. Yep, smells good. Right now we need to increase heating and change the jar for the hots. Let's add parrot. Take away our heads and in, we're increasing power up to 1.5 kilowatt. Yep. Oh, <laughs> I need to take smaller jar. So when should you change the jar for the tails? Well, there's a lot of techniques. Firstly, you can collect jars for each 250 milliliters and then after the distillation, smell each one and understand uh, what is better for you. Secondly, you can see what's going on in this temperature in the top of the column. When it will rise more than two degrees, uh, from the stable parameter, it's better to just finish. Thirdly, if you're looking for the best result, it's better to just finish until the temperature will rise in a boiler up to 93-95 degrees of Celsius. After the 93 degrees, tails are mixing with ethanol and you don't see any difference at the temperature, but quality, smell and taste is getting different to the bad side. I usually prefer this method for the making neutral or fine distillate about 89 uh, up to 96 ABV. But if you are distilling some flavored low wines, for example, which is made from grape, fruits or malt, there are a lot of different rules and you should make lower ABV to keep the flavor and taste in the, in the final product. So right now we're having 90 uh, percentage of ABV alcohol this is actually fine for this distiller you can get up to 92 in this set you just need to adjust water and adjust heating and decrease amount of alcohol per minute per hour or how you like so i'm gonna finish when temperature in the boiler is gonna be around 93 degrees Celsius uh, 93 degrees Celsius and it's gonna be fine for me out of the after that temperature I will just collect tails and put them to the like a stripping run column when it's gonna be like two extension pipes with uh, SPP and we will get the really neutral spirit which is gonna be 96 APV like on a distiller Stillman X and the video is also available on our YouTube channel so free, feel free to watch it so as you can see this distiller is really simple and it is modular so you're able to adjust everything you like and add more extension pipes to have a better percentage of alcohol during the second distillation. You can add gin basket and we are also gonna be doing a video with a gin basket on this distiller. So please subscribe on our YouTube channel just to not to miss any video 
about this distiller or any other our equipment. I hope you like this video. Feel free to ask anything you like in the comment section or send us an email. Thank you for watching. Happy distilling!